Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review for you guys. So today we'll be reviewing this Shishado, uh, what is this called? Um, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Cushion Compact. This is the newest one out of the range. There's this like this glow, there's also the whitening one, but I got this self refreshing one because it's like the newest technology and it's the newest one um, that Shishado has. So um, yeah, and the color that I'm using is 310 Silk. Um, it has SPF 35 PA Quadruple Plus. And this is the makeup look that I achieved using this foundation. So if you guys are interested in how I applied it and then um, my two cents on it, um, then carry on watching. So um, I tried this foundation or this cushion foundation um, like in the previous video and I did all the recording and stuff but I didn't like how it turned out so I'm doing it again so that time was like more like a first impression but this is my second time using it so um, we'll see and check back and see like a mini review kind of thing and how it wears so without further ado let's get started okay so when you open it up right this is the packaging when you open it you have like a very simple puff like this okay and then when you open up Look something like that. The color I would say it's pretty dark for me now. Okay, initially I thought it was a good fit because I was pretty tan, but you guys know that um, there is like a circuit like breaker period for all Singaporeans. So a lot of us um, actually have to stay at home, and I think making me stay at home has definitely <laughs> um, you know brightened up my skin color. So yep, let's see. So this is how it looks like. I would say the color is very very similar to my natural color, if not a little bit darker. But show the camera it's okay because of the lighting. I'm just gonna put more. And I remember when I first applied it the first time, it did not apply as dewy as the rest of the Korean foundation. Okay, you can see some kind of sheen, but um, comparing with other Korean foundation, right? This one is really more on the satin matte cushion. And then I already did my brows. Okay, and then do my skincare. And then wait a little while before it kind of set in. So I'm going in at places where I've not got the foundation. So this is considered like the first layer. I'm gonna go in a little bit for my under eyes and see if you'll be able to cover it. Okay, so this is first layer. I think that a uh, majority of the things are covered up except for like any scarring, you guys can still see it peek through. Uh, but other than that, I think it was pretty good. And then it did cover up my under eye almost like maybe 60%. Okay, so I'm going in a little bit more on areas where I need a little bit more coverage to see if I can layer them up. Okay. I do feel like if you layer it, it feels a little bit thicker. It doesn't look as deep as it was supposed to look. And I'm not sure if I wanted to go in another time. So right now it's about like 80% covered up. Okay, I'm going to try and go in one last time to see if I can get a little bit more coverage. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Through the camera, I think it looked pretty good. But in real life, I feel like um, it's not like full coverage yet. Okay, so this is like three layers, like three teen layers. I feel like honestly, the coverage is as much as you can go. I think any more addition of it will probably look pretty heavy okay because after all this is a foundation that do I would say look a little bit I don't know like a little bit I mean the coverage is pretty good it's like a very good like a lot of like in between but I feel like um, if you want to go all out to get like a super good coverage 
doesn't look as clean so this one I think to achieve the best look will to be um will to apply two layers any more than that I think it will give off a very heavy look but of course if that is your preference I mean you can do that but for me I think if I pile on any more it's gonna probably look a little bit cakey so I am probably going to leave it as it is like that because majority of the things are pretty much covered up anyway it's about 80 to 85 percent okay you probably can go in a little bit more but um i will stop over here and then i am going to set it with my jojo armani luminous silk powder foundation since i'm using that for the past few days i thought why not just you know continue with it so the color that i'm using is number four and then you shuffle in with it and then kind of like set it I feel like this powder, it oxidizes a little bit. It suits my summer color more than it is now. But I'm still able to use it and it gives off a very nice like satin matte kind of finish that I really enjoy. But mm, if you were to say like, oh, you know, it really gives off that very blurred, you know, and poor feeling look, honestly, I don't think um, it's worth the price and also it doesn't have a lot of um, it doesn't have a lot of like controlling properties in it as well so if like you have oily skin and you want a powder that really kind of like set them in place and then kind of like make them look good throughout the day I would rather you guys go for the Laurent Mercier loose powder that one really looks and control oils pretty well and then I'm gonna set both sides on the face the previous time when I drew like this kind of um, review right I powdered half of it and I realized that because I have oily skin I can't really not powder it because it just looked like an oily mess and it's just very not my type so I will powder a light layer right, so this is after I powder my face give you guys a closer look so this portion is like a new acne popping out so please ignore that and then over here I have a bump as well but this is the look you guys can see how it looks like after powdering um, I usually powder my foundation because the previous time I did a review like that, right? As I said, um, it was just an oily mess, and I, I don't think I will ever go out like that. So um, I'm gonna powder both of it, and you guys can see how it um, worked throughout the day. Probably, I would I would do a I think I would do like a check in at the end of the day. I think so. Yeah, so I'll just powder it anyway. So this is after you powder it, okay? And then um, overall, I feel like. I I don't know. Okay, so so I'll put on the rest of my makeup and I'll check back with you guys in, in a while. Hi. So this is the end of the look. Um, after my blusher, highlighter, and everything. Overall, I feel like this foundation, right? Um, if you just put like two layers and everything, and you kind of let it kind of sink into your skin a little bit, it looks beautiful. Um, in real life, I still can see a little bit of my marks and everything but I think that's okay because overall this one is about 80 to 85 percent covered up um I wouldn't want to go back in with any more concealer or anything because you just accentuate the portion so overall first thing is if you apply two layers uh, maybe a little bit more over on this side right after you let it settle for a little while uh, it kind of looks better um and uh, it still look pretty fresh now um and I've worn the other day for one full day right it didn't seem to oxidize that much either because um like I said it was a self-refreshing cushion so um i feel like oxidation isn't um like the oxidizing wasn't that bad um and overall i feel like although it first applies semi matte the other day when i didn't powder my face like half of the face it looked a little bit too oily and it looks okay on the portion where i powder my face like the regular dewiness I get at the end of the day with any other foundations or cushion foundation that I use um, it probably looks slightly better okay like um, like as compared to the um, Jojo Armani one that I have, La Mer one that I have, and Incredible one that I have at the end of the day uh, after six hours with powder it looks like um, less shiny out of all the others that I've mentioned and then um, it looks like you still have makeup on, like the look of the makeup that's still on your face is still noticeable. So you probably wouldn't need to kind of like, you know, touch up too much. Probably if let's say you are, or you have plans in the night or the evening, then might, you might want to do a little bit of touch up. But if you're just like, oh, you know, I'm going home to work, then you probably, you probably don't have to do any touch up because it still look pretty good. 
um, I'm not saying that Jojo Armani one or the rest are not good, it's just that those applied um, after 6 hours, it's a little bit more dewy um, as compared to the Shiseido one and probably that one looks more like natural, like it's becoming more natural that you might need to touch up if you prefer that kind of like a more polished look at the end of the day even though it's the end of the day so um yeah so this is my view on it um i feel like the color it's a little bit on the beige side because as you guys can see this portion right but overall i think it kind of still matches my hands so <laughs> that's a good color mm. yeah so that's something good because um yeah i'm afraid that it wouldn't suit my skin tone but uh, it is not it actually looks pretty good so um overall i think this foundation or cushion foundation if you're looking if you're in the market for a cushion foundation then this is one that you definitely can consider because it's not that expensive it's like mid-range so it's in between like La Mer, Dior, Armani, Dior, Chanel it's almost like cheaper than that but it's also slightly more expensive than La Mer. so um, you know pick your own choice but the only bad thing is that this foundation you have to buy the case and the refill separately they don't come as a pack like that so if you were to buy the cushion and the pack I mean like that's a good thing that you can choose whichever cover that you want it comes with a variety of different patterns and colours that you can choose from but um, the case itself it's I think if I'm not wrong it's $20 and the refill feel it's $55 so, so um, together they are about $75 and if you were to get through Sephora still it will be slightly cheaper I got mine through iShop Changi where they have like um, duty free prices and they have an additional 7% off so that is a steal but um, of course there's a lot of colours that I'll stop then um, but I'm lucky that 310 um, silk suit me so overall I feel like this foundation is something that you guys can consider if you're in the market for a cushion foundation overall for my oily so I'm pretty oily in my t-zone and um, normal on my cheeks I feel like um, at the end of the day after 6 hours of wear the foundation still looks pretty good um, and yeah the coverage is still quite there um, it fades away it didn't really fade away like how the Jojo Armani fades away like if like it looks like there's nothing wrong but it fades away gracefully this one looks like there's still some sort of makeup there but it didn't look weird or like it didn't settle into my pores it didn't create those sesame seeds like thing around my pores area so it's pretty good okay and with powdering I feel like um out of so many uh, cushion foundation I've tried right um this one produced the least amount of oiliness like I'm the least oily when I use this foundation um, when I powder it among all a tad bit because I like I said I have pretty oily skin on my T-zone so usually at the end of 6 hours my T-zone is pretty oily um, so yeah I mean if I can I will um, insert like a short clip and update uh, of this foundation after my 6 hour rest so you guys can actually see how it works and see how it looks like hello guys so um, I'm back right now it's um, 10.15 so it is about um, 5 hours since I wore this foundation and I thought I should give you guys a check in. Um, so overall, this is how it looks like 5 hours later. So other than this two portion that are pretty oily, actually this one is very very oily, this portion is still alright. Um, other than this stretch, like this line here, a little on the nose and this portion over here. Here it's a bit oily, this is oilier. The rest of the portion still looks pretty nice. Okay, yeah, then don't, um, please excuse this portion, okay, it's straight up a bit more because I went to touch it just now, it was a bit itchy. Um, but overall this portion, this is oily, but over here it still looks okay. Um, my coverage is still there, as you guys can see that this portion where all my acne marks are, it's practically still covered. Um, this one is still the same, I would say. Um, and this portion is alright as well. I can sense a little bit of cakiness here, a little bit, this portion is okay. So overall, I think um, this foundation is pretty good, okay, um, up to 5th hour, I mean it's still pretty much intact, right, you can probably already kind of tell that um, even if you go to the 6th hour or the 7th hour mark, it's still pretty much, gonna pretty much the same. Um, what I will probably do is, we'll probably just blot a little bit over here so that it looks a little bit more um, clean, um, and that's about it. Um, and you see my blush is still pretty intact, and um, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, yeah, I decided to just like check in with you guys so you guys can actually you know see it properly and then make a wise choice because uh, this foundation is not the cheapest um, and it's not like the most expensive but uh, it still costs a bit of money so um, just want to share with you guys and this is my you know review on it. Um, I feel like if you guys are often um, on the tanner slide um, and often cannot find a lot of shade range or like your shade your shade matching your shade match in um, Korean uh, cushion foundation then this one is one brand that you can look through it because it has a um, good amount of coverage I would say like a medium medium full okay um, and it also has um, more color range and it also look pretty um, it's not as dewy as other foundation that you see on the market so um, I think it would suit a more like more people who wants to use cushion foundation but don't like the dewiness of the regular foundations provide um, and also it's more suitable I would say 
um, for oilier skin because when you first apply it on, it's not as dewy and then throughout the day, it is also least oily of the bunch. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to stay safe, of course, during this period of time. And don't forget to, I mean, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave all the information down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!